Okay, so this is something I've been meaning to do for a long time, and that is decluttering my makeup bag. One thing I haven't done in a long time, I have done it before, but it has been probably a couple of years, is decluttering my makeup bag. I keep a ton of crap in here that I don't actually use anymore. It's a pretty big makeup bag, which is great because it fits everything very easily, but it's really cumbersome to carry this whole thing around all the time and kind of sick of doing it. So I've ordered a smaller makeup bag and in order to fit all my stuff into that smaller makeup bag, I'm gonna have to declutter this mess. So I decided a fun way to do this would be to do half my face with the makeup in the bag that I actually use and then half my face with whatever I decide to declutter out of here. <laughs> I have no idea how that's gonna turn out. First, I will give you a tour of my makeup bag the way that it currently is. Well, there we go. First of all, it's been used as a towel to clear off makeup brushes as I use them. These makeup brushes probably haven't been washed in a long time and maybe after I'm done today, that will be the ending thing I do. I have just like my regular brushes I use here. Let's find out, don't even know what's in this pocket. Nothing! Nothing is in that packet. And here we have a makeup brush, uh, what looks like a Starbucks napkin. And I mean this I do use, it's a little travel blender cleanser. Ew, this one's so gross! Ew! Okay, that has to go. This is the main section where I keep the majority of my stuff. And then the back section has these two little removable Velcro pocket thingies with stuff. This is where I keep all my eye makeup stuff, and this is where I keep a bunch of stuff I don't use anymore. And back here I keep some eyeshadow palettes. I also have a little mini makeup bag that does go with me in my purse and stuff like that, and the only things that I keep in there are those two, and my beauty blenders. So this is my everyday blender that goes with me in my purse, and then this one is my powder, like baking one, and then a little blush one. So let's get started. Can you tell I'm really, really scared I don't want to do this? First thing I always do is use the B6 Urban Decay Spray. Most primers are really heavy on my skin and I have to be like super picky about what primers I use. It calls itself a priming spray. I think I mostly use this because it gets rid of kind of like redness and like tones everything down and makes me feel like I have a barrier layer between my skin and the makeup. So since this is the only primer I have in here, let's just do it all over. On a normal day, the next thing I would do would be put on my tinted moisturizer, which is what I use as a foundation. But since we're decluttering, we have this little baggie of things, which includes a bunch of color correctors that I do not use anymore. I went through a phase where I thought color correcting was super important. So let's get out some of these. I have Bare Minerals Well Rested CC Face primer, uh, which is just a green stick which is supposed to cancel out redness, so we're doing this half my face with the stuff that I don't use anymore, so. Ugh, I hate how it feels. Ew, I have redness just like all over. I actually had a whole pack of the mini beauty blenders. I mean, I don't know what rubbing a dry beauty blender on my face is gonna do, but I just don't wanna take the time to go and dampen this. And just like back in the day when I used color correctors, I just feel like Frankenstein. Like there's just a green hue to my skin now. Like it does anything for me. I also kept the Look Less Tired from Smashbox. Oh, and it's like a legit pencil that I don't have a sharpener for, that's great. Mmm. Yummy. Now we're gonna go on to the base layer. So for the side of my face, I actually use, this is the one I use every day. This I picked up the other day, actually, as like an emergency. I thought I didn't have this with me, so I stopped and picked this up. I guess we'll use this on the other side, although I don't think I'll be decluttering it. And I'm just gonna apply it with my fingers. I think that's too much. side we'll use the one I actually use. So yeah, that's as much as I do for like a base layer. Now I only have the one concealer, so I'm just gonna use that all over my whole face. Hey. 
And then on this half of my face, the side I actually do all the time, I use this NARS multiple stick on my cheek before I blend everything in. And so I will blend that in with this little mini blush blender. So for the rest of my face, I'm going to use the same two beauty blenders, this one to blend in the actual makeup and then this one for setting powder. So this is the powder I use when I travel. It's just a lot easier to carry and it's the one I used for years, although over the past couple months, my friend convinced me to try the Airspun whatever something another powder. So I'll be using this one on this half of my face because it's what I normally use and I'll be using this one on the other half of my face because it's not what normally stays in my makeup bag. I also forgot that on this side over here, under my eyes, I will be using the color correcting Clinique redness reduction whatever powder because that's what I used to use under my eyes. I really just wanted to buy this product because they used to call it banana powder and I love all things banana. <laughs> so the next thing I normally do is my eyebrows. Out of all of this eye makeup stuff, I think Oh no. Okay, so technically I only have one eyebrow product, the one I actually use, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in a medium brown. But what I actually used to do for my eyebrows, I would take a spoolie brush and something with a little angled brush, and I would use brown eyeshadow to fill in my eyebrow. So I guess I have to do that. <laughs> Now on the side, I actually like. <laughs> On both sides, I set my eyebrows with a clear gel. And on both sides, I also take the concealer again and just go around the edges to kind of clean them up. Eyebrows are sisters, not twins, but these two look like distant cousins. Okay, so after all that's cleaned up, I usually go in with my eyeshadow primer. Ooh, in looking for my primer, I also found this, which is like a prep for your under eyes. I'm so glad I didn't even put this on because this thing has gotta be so expired. So for the one I use every day, it's the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Priming Potion in Original. And then this one I think was a sample, but it's the Too Faced Eyeshadow Insurance something or another. I guess I'll go in with some different eyeshadows. I actually don't know what's going to fit in my new makeup bag because I do kind of alternate and use these for different reasons and I do like this one but it's huge so I have a feeling it's not going to fit in my new bag. This also had to be from like six or seven years ago maybe. This one's the Rock Nudes palette from Maybelline. And then in addition I have this little mini Z palette that I made up of some things that I used to use in the past. I use this for my eyebrows. There are a couple of eyeshadows in here I used to use. I'm going to be getting rid of I think this Maybelline Giant Gel Eyeliner thing and this Urban Decay Moon Shadow Dust something or another in Magnetic. So I guess I'll be using these three on this side and NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I think I'm just gonna do what I normally actually do on this side with this palette and maybe a couple little shades from this one. After all that, 
I'm gonna go in with like a final setting powder and just kind of like dust off the majority of the excess powder. I use the Bare Minerals Perfecting Veil in the lightest shade they have. I really don't pick up much of this at all. I just wanna like, I just kind of tap it on there and then tap off all the excess and then kind of use it just mostly to buff off the excess powder that was left behind when I like set everything. <laughs> Then I go in with a little tiny brush and the same powder and just kind of like hit the places where I know I'm gonna get extra gross. Next thing I'm gonna do is my version of contouring, which is really just using bronzer because I don't like to necessarily like sharp line contour my face because I'm really pale and I feel like it shows up very not pretty on me. So I typically use the Hoola Benefit Bronzer and the Becca Highlighter in Pearl. And then I use this dual-ended light and shade brush from Kat Von D. But for the I'm getting rid of it side, my highlighter was destroyed. So I guess I'll use the same highlighter for both sides, but I'll be using this as my little bronzer. It's one of the little chocolate bronzers, I think, from Too Faced. And now I have a powder blush for the other side, which is why we've left it till now. It's this heart-shaped tricolor bronzery brightenery, highlightery blush thing. Whoa, that's super blushy. All right, and now I am looking pretty interesting. Last couple of things we have are eyeliner and mascara. So for eyeliner, I have all kinds of options. Um, the one I typically use is the Ink Liner by Kat Von D in Trooper Black. So that's what I'll be using on this side because that's what I do on a daily basis. If I'm feeling real crazy, sometimes I'll add a little bit of the Marc Jacobs gel liner in black as well. But for options we're decluttering, I went through a phase I was putting white eyeliner or tan eyeliner in the inner waterline at the bottom to kind of make my eye look bigger and pop more. So I guess I'll be using these. And then my backup liquid liner is the Revlon Color Stay. So I'll be using that on the top on this side. empty. Yes, it's better then. We'll just use the tan. We mostly have trash left in my eye makeup bag and a stray beauty blender that serves no purpose. So the next thing I usually do is set my whole face with my setting spray. I always, always use the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. So what we do have left though is this mascara primer from Lancome. I'm going to use this on this side because I never use this thing so I'm just, it's gonna get decluttered. And then for mascara, I really only have one option and it's Too Faced, Better Than Sex, the waterproof one. Person. I usually only wear Kat Von D and Lolita and mine got lost and other than that I don't really wear much for lipstick and I don't have any that I keep in my makeup bag with me I just lick my lips and then I rub off all of the makeup that's left over and then I put on a little bit of chapstick But other than that here is the final look You can tell me in the comments below, but I don't see a huge difference between the two sides, even though on this side I use color correctors and things like that. I just don't see them making a huge difference. I don't know if it's the way I apply them or just that they don't work great for me, but I really don't think I need all of this extra junk that I never even use. I will show you now what it is that I'm exactly getting rid of, what am I holding on to but keeping in a separate area, and then what's going back into my new, hopefully cute and smaller and perfect makeup bag. So here's all the stuff I'm completely getting rid of. This is the stuff that I am not getting rid of, but I'm not putting back into my makeup bag. Because though I might want to access it at some point, it's not stuff that I need to access every single day. And this is what's going back into my makeup bag. Don't worry, the brushes are going to be washed after this. Everything 
everything that was in this bag was meant to be my everyday stuff. But the reality is my everyday makeup routine is pretty darn simple. I did end up keeping a bunch of it because it is good stuff and I had it for a reason. But there was a decent amount that definitely had to go. So I feel good about getting rid of all of that stuff. I have everything back in here that I actually realistically might use on an everyday or semi-special occasion like the gel liner. And I ended up putting the mascara primer in here as well just for, I don't know, if I'm feeling fancy. Comment down below if this has inspired you. Tell me about what you need to declutter and how you're going to tackle that now. And if you take any before and after pictures, I would love to see those. So tag me on social media as well. Hit the subscribe button to see what I have coming next because who really knows what it's going to be. <laughs> and hit the notification bell, wherever that is, so that you get notified when I upload new videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!